BLT restaurant is mostly known for its steak, but it also has a fabulous raw bar, and Chef Johan Svensson shared some of his off-the-menu passion for seafood. I had an old, old chef of mine, she always said, always have something crispy. Always have something crispy. You need to think what, what the dish should be become, and then you have something crispy in it, and you should have something soft in it, you should have etc. Et et I haven't lived by it, but I kind of like the idea. From the beginning, I just put some stuff on there to have it there, and that was not really what she meant. She meant it needs to be something off the off the, the dish itself that becomes like a, uh, that is the dish itself. So it's it's, it's nothing that is second thought to that I can agree with. It took me a while to figure out what she really meant. This is the kind of food that, um, if somebody gave me this, I would be so happy. And I would almost cry. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so simple. It's a grilled negi. It has the fantastic sea urchin I got hold on. Unfortunately, it's, it's Japanese. It's not local. It's not unfortunate, but it's, it's you, know, I, you know, as much as possible local as we can do. The kiholi lobster, one is crispy, one is, is the tail, half tail itself. I would be very excited. I would be like, wow, this is good. What do you got next? You know, how can you beat this? My first job was a, a dishwasher on a canal boat. Oh. Around where I come from. I come from a, a small island in the biggest lake of Sweden. It's called the Tosh, Tosh, or Island of Thor, to translate it. And when I finally got over that, I, mean, I went out as a, I went up in a ski resort for a season and happened to end up way northeast. I barbecued reindeer for a couple of years. I've been around a little bit. Being way up northeast sort of took me into a, a different position. There was a, a place where I started working. They gave me so much kind of freedom that it became a, almost an obsession to do better and better and better. You know, they they you know they put me kind of in charge of the Grandma J station and do little buffets and stuff like that. And there was free hands. There was nobody to sort of control me, and it gave me opportunity to just do whatever I wanted to do. And all of a sudden, you realize that, wow, this is it's a little bit more than just cooking. It's just more than food. It's, it's a little bit more than that. And then it just evolved into, uh, I went from this grand little position that I had into uh, line cook, sort of in, in, you know, next restaurant up, and uh, a little bit more better dining, a little bit more a la carte cooking. And as soon as I got you know, my hands on that, it just kept on going, and fast and fast. And I was about 21, 22. I barbecued reindeers, uh, any experience I could find, I would take it, I would grasp it, I would go after it, you know. And I was fortunate enough to, you know, become a sous chef when I was 22, 23 already. A little bit too early maybe, a little bit too steep, but the, the being eager and want to go and want to do things was there. So that they, you know, they let me do it and uh, I learned a lot and I got burned a lot <laughs> in different ways. Uh, but I think uh, in the end, I think we, it really came out to, you know, knowing a lot about food and create a big basic knowledge in general. Whether it's up northeast in Sweden from making barbecue and reindeers to New York experience where I make sushi. Um, and just keep on going. I, I will never stop. I don't want to stop. I want to learn all the time. I'm, I'm eager enough to, even though I'm starting to get older, I, I now I have the knowledge of a lot of basic stuff, but it's always more, a little bit more to see, a little bit more to learn. Next step, next step, next step. And that's probably the reason why I stay in the restaurant business in general, is because you can always do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, further and further. Coming out here is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's been a, a fantastic experience with all the, the greens and, and produce and, and everything around us, and it's just in your backyard. You know, you dive in, down out here and you can see the fish that you actually Sometimes putting on the on the interface. It's amazing.